Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to EmpireCV.tv and another wonderful afternoon here at Empires. We've got the savers done, everything's going according to plan today, and there's a lot of stuff coming up. This last weekend, we had the Newligan release party for his book, Rum Luck. I had a great turnout. We also had Dylan's party, same night, a full house. It was a lot of fun, and thank you for coming down. Thank you for supporting that if uh, you did. If you didn't, you have another chance to support Newligan coming up here soon because there is going to be a Union Street Choir Kickstarter coming up starting uh, September 1st, so we're gonna have all the info for that uh, coming very, very soon. Also this month, the 23rd, you can look up Sack Geeks or you can go to our website, empirescomics.com and find out about the Doctor Who premiere that they're hosting a party for. Also, you can see it at Century Stadium 14 around the corner, uh, Monday night, the 25th. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's a Doctor Who time. And next month we have, um, or no, the end of the month, the 31st, I believe, is Sack Anime. Next month, we have the Creative Women Minicon here on the 20th. Um, we're gonna start really hitting you with some information on that coming soon. So, uh, so just some stuff to look forward to. So in books, Fraction continues to go with his Sex Criminals. That is a ridiculous book. It's a fun book. I'll tell you about the premise if you ask me in the show. Shudder, I unfortunately don't read this, but I wanted to show you guys because a lot of people do. A lot of people have a lot of fun with that one. This is the one that you guys should be excited about because it's Dan Abnett's new book, Dark Age. He, I mean, this is awesome. It's, it's sad that the two of them aren't working together for the moment. They will be back together because uh, their hearts are gonna grow fonder as they spend more time apart and so on. Uh, Walking Dead, I'm finally caught up on this. They've created a community. It's set years in the future after the the, the war, I guess, with uh, Negan, and they've settled down into quite the little community where you've got uh, trade between the different towns, you've got agriculture, they're making bread, they're bringing in new people that they've found, they've even found ways to steer the herd, essentially. So it's gone a completely different direction, which is nice because we'd seen enough of them just wandering from place to place. This gives us a chance to bring in some new characters and just kind of see how things would progress over time. Tower Chronicles, Bat Wagner and Simon Bisley. Uh, I'll read anything by Matt Wagner. We have, there's also a Grendel book coming up soon, which is going to be fantastic. Oh, I brought the wrong cover. Um, Mark Millar, this is his Flash Gordon. Uh, it, it's a wonderful. I don't always have wonderful things to say about Millar. This book's beautiful. The, an old man uh, living at home in, on Earth. Uh, he, and no one believes him when he's come home. Everyone thinks he's crazy. His wife is gone. He's got nothing. He gets pulled back to the planet to save the day yet again. There was a beautiful, absolutely beautiful Ron Lightfield cover that uh, you should guys should check out. Forever Evil. Got lots of Omax. Big Barda. What more do you need? Frankenstein. Fantastic Four, the most dysfunctional family in comic history, evidently. Is that what they said? Uh, that's stupid. They, they are not dysfunctional. I mean, here we are with Uncle Ben in handcuffs, but. It, it, he didn't mean to and he won't do it again. Harlow Quinn, that's a beautiful cover. There's also a really cool one with her doing a selfie. It's actually all flipped upside down and she released bees on people. Um, but the artist in this is really neat too. Tim's, I don't know, but it was really neat. Oh, you guys aren't gonna believe this, Inhuman. It's a Joe Mad book. It, it's actually here. What more need be said? Flock to the Joe Mad goodness. Justice League Canada, you got Adam Strange, Stargirl, Supergirl. Uh, I was having a discussion with someone this morning and he's not conv as convinced as I am. And he says that things just aren't happening fast enough for him. His attention span is really small. <laughs> Original Sin, beautiful Arthur Adams. A lot of people are into this. I've never read any Spider-Man 2099 uh, and I continue to stand by that. Amazing Spider-Man, I do read this, this is great. He pissed off Black Cat, she's putting together a little team to take him out. Uh, while he's trying to investigate who killed the Watcher, they're just getting annoyed. Too much going on there. This was strange because it's just strange. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. And the cover pretty much says everything. Was I holding it upside down? Oh, it's hard to tell he's angel Um, Deadpool versus Dracula because why not? And uh, Batman Eternal. This has been fantastic, by the way. Keep up on that one because if you fall a couple weeks behind, it's going to be hard to get caught up. Uh, we've got a couple nightcrawler uh, things going on here. And that's about it. Thank you very much. Um, uh, oh, we got original sin eyeballs. If you guys uh, remind me when you're in the, in the store, we've got those to give away. 
Thank you very much, and uh, have a great one, guys. Hopefully, we will see you at the Doctor Who premiere, or you know, it's the latest, the September twentieth. And this month, uh, we've changed our room around. We're getting things fixed in here. It's looking really good, and we decided to bring in Jeremy Rathbone to make it look even better for the month. 